I'm John Alder from DIYPhotography.net. We're here on the Sony booth at IBC 2022, and we're going to take a look at the new FR7 Pantil Zoom Camera. DIY Photography's coverage of IBC 2022 is sponsored by Sennheiser, the future of audio, Sackler, producer of professional tripods, and B&H, the professional source. So hello, tell hello. us a bit about who you are and Sure, what so uh, my name is uh, Hiroaki Nakao. I'm a uh, category head of the ILC and uh, interchangeable lens camera and uh, creative pro uh, categories head. Yes, so. Brilliant, so tell us about the new FRZ camera, well, FR7 camera. Sure, so this is uh, our new concept camera. So this is PTZ camera, but this is interchangeable lens type with full frame sensor. And so, that's the world's first, isn't it? Yeah, I yeah. guess. So it's, uh, we think this is gives uh, some new value to the, uh, not only the live production, but also the cinematic shooting. Uh, we have so many opportunities we have here. Really? So do you want to walk us through some of the features of the sure, camera? Sure, 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 sure. So, um, so this is, how should I say, that my old focus is a kind of common philosophy uh, with our alpha product or cinema line product. So uh, if you install uh, this kind of web application after you purchase this product, you can see like uh, IOT focus or face tracking. Uh, this is kind of the uh, simultaneously, how should I say, the happening. So uh, you don't need to, how should I say, the spoil, spoil your time for the just the focusing. So it's automatic automatically track. So we right. think this kind of benefit is kind of common across our line. Yeah? Yes. Brilliant. So, so this is the control deck for it. Yes. Do sure. you need this or can you control it from the tablet? So whichever you like. So even without this IB500 controller, uh, only with this at web application, you can control like a Pantheon zoom function. And of, of course, if you uh, want to do much precise movement, uh, you can uh, use this IP500 after firmware update. Uh, you can start uh, using this yeah. optimized uh, controller. It's a lot for, uh, easier yeah. with the joystick. Yeah, 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 depends. And uh, we can also uh, uh, adjust the sensitivity. So if you want the much slower cinematic movement, you can easily to change the sensitivity to low. Then pan speed or zoom speed can be optimized like a much cinematic look. And of course, if you want to have the much quick move, yeah, it can be also set. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Can you keyframe movements on this as well? So you can say start here and go to there and then play it back? Uh, so we, we can also uh, register some houses that preset uh, from. Uh, so much easier way is uh, we have the, this plus uh, button right. in uh, web apps. So you can register the position, then you can control. Oh, as my usual, how should I say that? Brilliant. So, what kind of lens size mm -hmm. can you put on here? What's the biggest sort of lens? Uh, you can put of on? course, it, you can use the entire our uh, E-mount lineup. Even but the, the really big one. Yeah, yeah, like wow. uh, six hundred. But, wow. but of course, if you mount <laughs> such kind of big lens, ma, you you need to uh, fix the position. But ma, like uh, so, our best suggestion is power zoom lens because uh, you want to control everything from here, right? Yeah, yeah. So as long as you attach the, uh, our uh, how should I say that native uh, power zoom lens, uh, you can enjoy everything. Then even yeah, my, if you want to use um, some uh, much heavier lens, then you need more focal lens. Let's say 70, 200 plus two, uh, two times converter, yeah. uh, you can still uh, attach, then uh, still pan tilt zoom function is also happening together. Really? So, you still yeah. get full autofocus? And... Yeah, at least our uh, focus is uh, kind of common. So only the, how should I say, the focal lens change, this is kind of you need to manually change. But anyway, uh, uh, it depends on their preference or usage uh, we can give. So, we, your choice. Brilliant. So, who's the primary market that this is aimed at? Is it like Hollywood or studio productions or...? Mm, uh, to be honest, that this is a completely new concept. So, of course, the kind of live production or those uh, uh, target customers but easily to find this uniqueness of this camera. So, yeah. their benefit is getting more, how should I say, better quality, attractive quality. But uh, we also believe that uh, not only this live, but also the cinema side, um, they have already utilized our Venice or even Alpha range camera for their, depend on the, their, how should I say, the content. Yeah. Then, if we have this kind of uh, uh, PTZ camera, could be that some different uh, framing or different, how should I say, the output uh, can they can add uh, in, yeah. in their, how should I say, the cinema or movie. So we believe both sides uh, we have the opportunity to cultivate. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, then, so anyway, so this is not, uh, no, even without this controller and with a simple uh, tab tablet that uh, you can operate, and also this tablet uh, screen that uh, you can, how should I say, multiple screen uh, we can show at the same time. So you can 
give it one tablet to the client, then that tablet you can eliminate the control. Then ah. so just the client can see the screen, then just the checking. And okay. the operator is of course the utilizer. So you the can same have like that. clients yes. and set directors yeah, and yeah, everybody yeah. all watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, so such brilliant. kind of how should I say that? Ma. And what kind of outputs do we have on here for monitoring? Uh, so, and uh, we have the uh, SDI output, or this is an uh, IP is kind of uh, connected. Then, at, uh, but this at IP is also uh, uh, compatible with uh, PoE plus plus. So, but, uh, whatever the power you need, uh, it can uh, get the benefit from right, that. Uh, can you get raw video output to an external recorder? Yeah, yes, yeah, we can possible. And also the, um, it, we also have at the internal recording is possible. So, right. uh, like. Like a 4K, 120p. Uh, if you shoot, then later after the post-production process, uh, you can make it as a f uh, five times slow motion. Oh, so it, it could be the, yeah another good benefit. Yeah. Uh, not only the just a live shooting, but also the slow mo you can enjoy. So this is lovely. Lovely. So are yeah. these are available to pre-order now. Yes. So uh, we uh, already start uh, the opening that kind of pre-order. Then ma uh, within uh, our Q3, uh, the no let's say November onward. Uh, we start uh, gradually deliver the product to the customer. So oh, yeah, yeah we are very so what's the prices on this? Because so, there's two packages, aren't there? Ah, no, no, this is the only uh, body. Body means that this set yep. of camera and this uh, below the... And the so this, yeah, so yep. without the lens, it's a kind of one package. Yep. Then this is uh, prices around, uh, excluding VAT, Euro basis, um, 9,167 euro. And what does it cost with the... Cost of, is this the lens that comes with the other kit? Yeah, so th th this is, uh, we don't have any kit in a European market. Oh, right, yeah. so that's so you, the US market. It's, it's, your, it's right. your choice to select the best lens. And well, of course, the package prices depend on the retailer's yeah. choice. So we, we, we are not in the position to uh, describe this brilliant, package brilliant. price. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, thank you very much yeah. for giving us a tour of the FR7. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm John Aldrew for DIYphotography.net. We're going to keep walking around IBC and see what else we can find. Hit subscribe to stay up to date on what we see. And if you want to enter to win $12,000 worth of cinema gear, check the link in the description below. Thank you.